So this is an interesting question. Imagine I have a recurrence relation like this. Actually, we have seen this recurrence relation, right? This is the recurrence relation of merge sort, right? This is the recurrence relation of merge sort. We have already seen this, right? So the question here is, which of these options is false, right? The moment you see a recurrence relation like this that you have seen for merge sort, we immediately know that this is theta of n log n, right? The moment you know that it's theta of n log n, which means it's tightly bounded both above and below by n log n. What does it mean? It means it is, it is both. It is this as well as this, right? What does this mean? When something is theta or when, it, when something is both bounded above and below by n log n, it means that it is big O of n log n and big omega of n log n. Both of them are true. So this is right. This is not false. The question is, which of these is false? This is not false. This is true. Now the option lies between these two. Now you know that for this recurrence relation, Tn, you know that if you know the Tn is big O of n log n, right? You know that in the order of functions, n log n grows slower than n square, right? We know this and everything that is growing faster than this. So you, if, if T of n is big O of n log n, because which means what? What does it mean? It means T of n grows slower than n log n. And we know that n log n grows slower than n square, which means you can say the T of n is grows slower than, sorry, let me, so th th this is an interesting concept, right? It grows slower than n square. Okay, the, the flow is like this. Again, I'll repeat it. Okay, we know that T of n grows slower than n log n. That's what this means. And we know from the order of functions, this is from the order of functions that we discussed, right? From the order of functions, right? We know that n log n grows slower than n square. Okay, hence T of n, must be growing slower than n square, which means it is big O of n square. So this is also correct. The only option left is this. And I'll show you why this is incorrect actually. We know that T of n is omega of n log n. What does omega of n log n means? It means T of n grows faster than n log n, but n log n grows slower than n square. Look at this. This, this is an interesting thing. You could hear what worked here will not work here because T of n is, so when we write big omega, what does it mean? That this is, the T of n grows faster than this. That's what it means. But we know that n log n grows slower than n square. So we can't write this. Of course, I could have written, suppose if this option was big omega of n, that would have been a correct option because I know that n grows slower than n log n. Right? If, if this was big omega of n, that would have been correct. So the only incorrect option here is option D. Right? So this is going to the concept of order of functions and being able to use it in a problem setting. Right? Obviously, this is straightforward, right? This is basically a merge sort. So as soon as you see something like this, you should be able to, you should be able to infer these three. Right? So it's, it's a very interesting twisty thing about the notation itself. The notation of theta, big O, big O and omega. So you have to be careful to understand these types of nuances to be able to answer questions like this.